Congratulations, you have just met and welcomed your new VA into your Amazon business. Now, of course, you wanna keep that spark going between you and them in the right direction over the next couple of months. Now, if you wanna know what works and what doesn't work to keep a great working relationship and deliver massive results, then watch this video today because I'm gonna share with you the best practices we follow in Fast Track FBA that we've seen work time and time again with your new VA in month one. So stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for four years. And if you don't know, I'm on a mission right now to do one million pounds. And how am I doing this? With a team of VAs of which I have seven, seven of them, and I have learned so much. But not only that, I've also learned a lot from other people in their Amazon businesses, which I put together in this video today to help you understand what you need to know to build a highly effective team. So let's jump into it. First things first, number one, I'm going to go through why you need to create a supportive environment for your VA. Number two, I'm going to talk about developing good habits for you as a leader within your business. Number three, we're going to talk about building the right structure to get results. And this is a simple step-by-step -step guide. And then finally, number four, I'll just give you a summary of what you need to do to go away to get results with a new VA in your business. So let's get started. Now, first things first, I talked about it earlier, why you need to create a supportive environment for the VA. Now, Either you've just hired a VA yourself or you've taken the smart option and chosen to have a VA hired through the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. Now, if you took the smart option, you should have already had an introductory call with your VA and started to establish that bond between the two of you. Now, your VA is about to get signed off from the Academy and you're probably getting ready for them to start with you. Now, the question you might be asking is, should you expect your VA to give you £6,000 worth of profit in the first four weeks? No, that isn't a realistic expectation. So what I'm going to say to you is think of it this way. Your VA is a fresh graduate straight out of university. They've had four years of theory and study, but they're still very limited on their actual practical experience and application of those theories. So your VA has had all this training, but they need proper guidance and practice to turn this knowledge into experience. And how do we do that? Well, you create a supportive environment that helps with their learning and development. Now, you might ask yourself, why should I create a supportive environment that helps their learning and development? I know, like, why? Well, we've seen it time and time again in the VA Academy with our clients. Those clients that create a supportive environment that helps the learning and development of the clients or of the VAs, they get more deals. This is because the VAs work harder to find new ways of sourcing and have less problems, which results in more deals, which results in more sales, and guess what? More profits for you in your business. Now, on the other hand, those clients that don't communicate, that maybe talk down, the VAs don't give, you know, provide feedback and have unrealistic expectations, these are the clients that have problems with their VAs. Now, the number of deals they are getting are less and they need far more aftercare support from us in the VA Academy. What does this all mean? Well, it means less deals for you, less revenue and less profits. At the end of the day, a supportive environment is that one that helps the VA's learning and development and it means more deals, more sales, more profits and less stress for the VA. And hey, you know what? Less stress for you as well. Now I'm going to ask you the question, is that what you want? Are you looking for more deals, more revenue and more profit? Hopefully, I think you are and I hope you do want that as well. Now this is why we are here today to help you put into place a tried and tested process that is going to deliver results. What results? Well, for month one, by doing this, you should be getting two to five deals per day that you can purchase. That's a super important thing, two to five deals a day that you can purchase. Okay, so today we're talking about getting the maximum amount of 
value out of your VA, supporting them to get results. Now, I talked about it earlier. Maybe you've hired a VA yourself, or maybe you've taken the smart option and asked Fast Track FBA to hire the VA for you. Now, if you are thinking about hiring a VA, of course you can do it on your own, but my God, it's a lot of hassle. And where do you add value finding products, selling them on Amazon? Finding, hiring, training VAs is a completely different skill set. And you know what? Even after you've done all of that, they might still leave. You might have hired the wrong person. You might not get results. And as a result, what we created is the Fast Track FBA VA Academy. This is whereby we are hiring VAs every single day, training them for our clients and supporting them in their businesses for 12 weeks. Not just with videos like this, but also with actual one-to-one -one support. I do group coaching as well with the, the leaders and their businesses. Why? Because what we understand is that if we help you grow your businesses, you will keep needing more and more VAs because you're just growing so fast. What does this really mean? Well, it means that pretty much we are hiring 30 VAs every single month for our clients. And in addition to that, we have clients coming back for not one, but two, but three, but four, even five VAs. Why? Because they see how much value they bring to their business and you can see how fast their revenue is growing. As a result, that means more profits. Now, hiring is a hard process and we are here to support you. So if you are interested in hiring a VA, want to know more about the service we do, you can book in a free 30 minute consultation call with one of my team and have all your questions answered and find out more about the service. Have a look down below. I'll drop a link to a free call. You can book in and learn more about the VA Academy. Now that leads me nicely on to number two, developing good habits. So how do we do this? Okay. This is for you and the VA as well. Well, we do this by starting from day one, building in those good habits. Now, the great philosopher Aristotle said about developing good habits, and I quote, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. And I think that's something really important to take away. Now, the advantage of developing good habits is we don't actually have to overthink when we do them, but each act in itself becomes automatic. Hence, it can help you reach your goals quickly because those habits give you more time to accomplish more things. Now, more importantly, these habits set the tone and the foundation of your business. At a high level, we practice the following habits with our clients that should really support you in your business. So, what are they? Number one, create a supportive and learning environment. Number two, be positive. Number three, give regular feedback. Number four, ask open questions. And number five, communicate. I can't stress that enough. So let's go through them. Number one, create a supportive and learning environment. Now it's crucial to create that supportive and learning environment because it provides a safe space for the VA. Now, what does this do? It assures them that it's okay to make mistakes. My God, we all make mistakes in our business. That's just life. Now, what researchers have dubbed the 85% rule is what basically means failing 50% of the time and succeeding the remainder of the time, i.e. 85% of the time, is the optimal way to gain new skills and new information. So we have to accept that the optimal way to grow and to develop our VAs is the fact that they're probably going to fail some of the time. And how do we encourage that failure? Because that's part of learning. We create a safe space. Super important. Now, number two, be positive. I cannot stress this enough. Your VA is going to have weaknesses. Now, for you, you can pick up on those weaknesses, but it isn't going to help. What you should want to be doing is highlighting the positives to reinforce those good behaviors. Positive language can really encourage your VA to deliver more valuable results. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. Now, number three, give regular feedback. One of the main reasons to provide positive feedback consistently is for you and your VA to be aligned with your goals. And that is super important, understanding where you need to go and creating alignment between you and your VA. Now, number four, ask open questions. These are things like what, when, how, why, and who. Now, what you're trying to do is you're trying to encourage your VA to speak their mind. And how do we do that? Generally speaking, we want our VA to speak first before us. Now, by asking open questions, it makes them feel that you've opened up that safe space for them to talk about their struggles, their problems right now, which we can use to further understand what's happening and support them better. 
Now number five, communicate. And I say this time and time again, communicate, communicate, communicate. And if you think you've communicated enough, you haven't communicated some more. Now it all boils down to creating open communication within your business. And the way you communicate through the use of positive words, feedback and open questions, all leads to creating that supportive and learning environment cannot stress it enough. Now, does this all mean that your VA is going to be perfect after you've developed these habits? Of course not. They still have a lot of improvements to make, but it's your feedback that will really help build encouragement to support them getting the right results for your business. Now, this might all sound like management speak, so let's break it down into simple, actionable steps that you can take on board for your first month, which are going to really help you get results. Now, quick question for you guys. I'm going to go through the actionable steps that you should be taking every single month that have worked for our clients in the VA Academy. But I'm really interested to know what are the things that you're doing to build a great relationship with your VA, which are getting results. Share it in the comments down below. I'm super interested to know this. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, number three, building the right structure to get you results. Now, I recommend that you follow a structure and not just jump into the call that you have with your VA. Now, having an organized flow rather than just free talk has a profound difference. Why? Well, having a structure makes a meeting easy and makes your running your meetings with your business easy and you know what? It gives consistent results. Since the VA already knows what to expect from a call or a meeting, you create certainty and that safe space for them. And most importantly, it makes it easier for you as a business owner to get the results you need. Why? Because you're just following a simple proven process which works. So. Let me share with you the process that I have been doing during my calls with VAs and the other clients have as well. Now I will go through these steps, which are basically before the call, what you need to do during the call and also what you need to do at the end the call. So let's go through those three areas right now. So the three things I do before the call are, number one, I will schedule time in my calendar and this creates a defined time and space every day build the relationship and have that time to review the deals together. Now we recommend starting with one hour per day, five days per week, and this is gonna help you out developing that safe space and that relationship. Now I'll drop a screen share around here of my calendar and how I book it out and I schedule this with my VAs and I invite them to that meeting so they know exactly when it is and I know when it is too. Now, number two, what I do is I avoid reviewing the deals before this meeting. Why? It's just wasting your time. If you already know what you're going to do before the meeting, you're not going to properly explain those deals and what you're seeing to that review process to your VA and you're going to skip stuff. So quite simply, do not review deals. Do not do anything with the deals beforehand. The first time you should see them is in that review meeting with your VA during that call. Now, the third and final thing you might be thinking about is generally speaking, my calls are pretty early in the morning with the Philippines. And what do I recommend for early morning starts? None other than coffee. So have a big cup of coffee because it just perks you up and puts you in the right mood, ready for that call. So top tip number three, have some coffee before a call. Now, this leads me nicely onto what should you be doing during the call with your VA? Let's go through the five steps now that I actually talk about or I do in my business and they'll be recommended well. So first things first, during the call, number one, I really recommend using Skype for your video calls. Now, the reason why I say this is because it's free and you can record the calls. What does that mean? It means your VA can actually download them from the web and watch them back in case maybe they missed something, which is super important. Now, number two, what I'd recommend is you both have your cameras on and I make a point of this, cameras on at all times during calls. Why? Because I want to see facial expressions, emotions, everything is going on. 70 to 93% of all communication is non-verbal. So turning on that camera, letting them see that smile is super important to building that relationship. Now, number three, I always start my calls with a bit of a non-work chit chat for about the first five minutes. Why? This helps just build that personal relationship. Because when things get tough, maybe the business is tough, is that personal relationship that will keep things going forward. So 
take those five minutes, ask questions about family, anything else non-work related, maybe the weather, what's going on in their lives, what do they do on the weekend. This is just going to help put them at ease, get them relaxed, ready for that call. It is this time that you get to learn about who they are and what they're doing and you build that personal relationship. Now, having these meetings is still scary, but creating these five minutes beforehand is going to put them at ease, help them with that safe space. Also as well, it's going to help to get you or allow you to get to know your own VAs personally and build that personal relationship, which will allow you to support them with their professional development as well. Now, number four, what I always recommend is after the five minute chat, bring it back to work. And how do we do that? We define the reason for the call. Why? This is about creating alignment with the expectations of what we are here to achieve. You always have to define the results, the outcome that you are looking for. So I always ask, what are we here to achieve to my team? And I'm looking for them to align with the same expectation for me. Now remember, in the first month, and what I'm here, what I'm looking for is that my team says, we are here to achieve two to five deals per day, first month, that we can actually buy. And the reason why I do that is because then I understand that we're aligned and we have the same goal or same outcome from this meeting today. That is super important. Now I'll repeat that again today. What are we here to achieve in month one? Two to five deals per day on average that we can buy. Now, the final thing I recommend in the call is quite simply carry out the review process. That is what we are here to do. And it is only by consistently reviewing deals together, analyzing and aligning our expectations, your VA is going to do that deal analysis the same as you. So make sure you do a live screen share on that Skype call during the call and go through each deal as you see them. Do not skip things, but just quite simply talk about what you are seeing. Talk about how you're doing that deal analysis. Now, remember your version of three pound profit, 30% ROI might be different from their version of three pound profit, 30% ROI. What we're trying to do is make sure that the VA has fully understood what you are talking about and that they are aligned with it. So vocally, visually talk about how you're doing that deal analysis let your VA understand how you're thinking and create that alignment within your deal review process and your business. Now, this leads me nicely onto for the four ways to end your call. So now that the deal analysis is done, do not simply end the call abruptly. Here are some ways that are going to help you finish up that call. So number one, what I'd really recommend is summarize the results of the day or the week. Have a recap of the important piece of information and the learnings that the VAs need to remember. Maybe there's something new about how to read Keeper, or maybe the deal analysis process, or maybe a stall that isn't working out. Repeat the important information. Number two, highlight something that you really like today, like a fast selling deal. You know, what you want from this is your VA is going to walk away from this call feeling good. Remember that safe space, even if they didn't find any deals, that you know that you could buy. But remember what you're trying to do is highlight something that they can walk away that they like so that the next day they know exactly what you're looking for and they can make that improvement, that learning to find you better deals. Now, number three, confirm the schedule for the next meeting. Yes, it's booked in the calendar, but just double check. It takes two seconds, double check when is the meeting with the VA the next day. Now, finally, number four, leave the call on a positive note. Ask them what their plans are for the next day, their sorting session, and ask them what they're looking to do. So you can have a positive feedback with them and find out what they're gonna be doing the next day to see how they're forward planning. Really helps thinking about the next steps. Now, what I'd really recommend for you guys is to repeat this whole process for the first four weeks, and then you'll be supporting your VA in leveling up to month two, where we change the process slightly. Quick question for you guys, I've just shared with you what I think you should be doing in your Amazon business with your new VA to get the best results that we've seen, but maybe there's something you know that I don't. What top tips would you share with me and our clients that they should be doing as well? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, this leads me nicely onto number four. Let's just recap, because my God, that was one hell of a lot of information. So. Let's summarize it, bullet point it, make it super clear and concise for you so you know exactly what you need to do with that call on your VA or with your new VA. So first things first, three things you need to do before the call. Number one, schedule time. Allocate time with your VA. 
Number two, do not review the deals before the call. Number three, get yourself in the right mood before you start that call, have some coffee. Now that leads me nicely on to number two, which is the five things you should be doing during the call. First things first, video call always. Number two, cameras on. Number three, have a non-work chit chat five minutes beforehand. Super important to building that relationship. Number four, define the reason why we're here. What is the result we are looking for? And then finally, number five, go into that deal review session, review those deals, verbally talk about what you are seeing as you see it. Now, number three, which is the four ways to end the call. Number one, summarize what you've seen. Number two, highlight what you like about the deal that you've seen. Number three, confirm the schedule for the next meeting. And finally, number four, leave it on a positive. Let your VA walk away from this meeting feeling great so that they're gonna go away and smash it the next day. Now, one thing I will say is month one is the hardest month for results, but if you practice positivity communication, you will start to see amazing results. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint, and building a great environment, supporting your team is gonna be amazing to make sure you're getting success. Now, will change happen overnight with your VA? No, not at all. But if you continue the processes and you will start to add real value to your VA and who will in turn add real value to you and your business. Now, hopefully you're excited about your VA journey to keep them going. And what I'm gonna say is when you finish month one, what I suggest you do is watch my top tips on how to work with your VA in month two. I'll drop a link around here to that video that's gonna really help you understand what you should be doing differently in month two with your brand new VA. So check that out. Now, hey, what I will say is hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a big like. And hey, if you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button, that subscribe button down below. But for me, Thomas Parkinson, thank you very much.